Moses, the Border Kings are absolutely on fire right now. <laughs> Unbelievable. I finally caught my, caught my breath nice here, so it'll be nice, <laughs> yeah, just in case some people were worried who were watching it earlier in the show. But yes, you're absolutely right. An eight-game winning streak to start 2012. Uh, they're ending off uh, their final game just before the playoffs start. Could they make it nine in a row? Well, we have to go watch right now, can't you? There we go. All right, the Lloydminster Border Kings looking to keep that impressive streak going against the Carstairs Redhawks. Again, on Sunday, you see that the Border Kings have not lost in that span since 2012, and that's eight games. They look to make it nine, getting hot at the right time as playoffs are around the corner. First period, Aaron Starr will get things going for the Border Kings. He walks right into the slot, and his shot takes a bit of a deflection past Jason Kipling. one nothing Border Kings. The home side would double their lead, courtesy of Jason Goulet's howitzer. 2 nothing for the home side. Now, 3 nothing. the Red Hawks get one back. Andrew McKenzie's slapper beats Jody Lehman. Five hole, that makes it 3-1. to one. Then late in the first frame, it's McKenzie once again. Top shelf, 3-2, to two, Border Kings after 20. Moving on to the second, Derek Gervais will find a trailing Corey Dubik. His shot will find Mesh. 4-2 for the Border Kings. Then a giveaway by the Border Kings in their own zone. Brian Gagnon will make them pay. 4-3 to three. under a minute and a half remaining. Border Kings restore the lead. Brody Foster in the slot. 5-3 after two periods. To the third, Lloyd on the power play. Giffen Niren to Ian McAllister. What a snipe. 6-3. And if you like that, check out this move by Aaron Phillips. 7-3 Border Kings is your final. The Border Kings now won nine in a row to wrap up the regular season and top spot in the standings with a 24-0 record. The playoffs will get underway this week. It'll be either against Stony Plain or Sylvan Lake. That still has to be determined tomorrow. Moving on to the Bandits. They had a successful weekend with a 10-0 win over the St. Paul Canadians. Four different players with three points, and that was highlighted by Nathan Newman and Anthony Renier. Both had two goals and an assist. The Bandits are on the road in Vermillion before wrapping up the regular season at home Friday night against Vegarville. Now moving on to figure skating and the Starscape Championships were held in North Battleford. Several young athletes from the border city took part and they medaled. Uh, Kareen Sokol would finish the weekend with two goals or two medals, sorry, a gold in the junior bronze women's jumps and silver in the junior free skate. Uh, other Lloyd ladies to mention, Ashlyn Ukrenitz made the final with the junior bronze free skate. And she also got a personal best. Amy Reed would uh, finish third in the preliminary, preliminary ladies. Uh, Cassie Reed would uh, finish with the personal best in the pre-preliminary ladies. So congratulations to all.